Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Classroom Champions Live, where we bring our amazing Classroom Champions mentors directly into your living room. So today is Tasty Tuesday again, you guys, and we have a big day for you. We have our Team USA bobsledder, Tiffany Parker, who is going to lead Tasty Tuesday with me. And we have a special guest who I'll introduce in just a minute. So as always, you guys, you can put your comments. You can welcome everybody in the comment section. And um, yes, just welcome back. We're super excited to have you. So if you like what you see today, you can always go to classroomchampions.org and see more amazing athletes. But I would like to introduce our athlete for today. Our athlete for today is Alex Anzalone. Alex is an American football linebacker. I have to say American football for our Europeans there. Welcome, Alex. Alex plays for the NFL team, the New Orleans Saints, and I know that we have some Saints fans out there. He also played for University of Florida, and we're just super happy to have you. Alex, welcome. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I know we have a little bit of video of Alex playing. If we can pull up that video, I would love to check out what you do. Alex, can you tell us about this play here? Yeah. So this is actually in a pretty big game a few years ago. I was, uh, we were playing the Los Angeles Rams and I obviously made that move right there and intercepted the ball against Ooh. them. It was, a, it was a big play in the game and just really fun time and highlight of my career so far. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. We are we are fans as well here, so we're excited to have you. But we're also excited to have you teach the kids at home about healthy living and create a healthy snack with us today. So for everybody at home, you can check out the attached recipe. I'm going to drop it in the comments. It's also right here on the screen. And if you are a Classroom Champions teacher, it's also on the community. Uh, so make sure to take a photo of your kids making this recipe and share it with us afterwards. We'll throw that in the challenges later. We have our first commenter. Let's see, we have Lori here. Alex, um, she is so excited. She is a Louisiana gal. She's representing the Houdat Nation in okay. Surrey, British Columbia. So uh, Lori oh. is up in Canada <laughs> and she's one of our classroom champions teachers. So thanks for watching, Lori. And now, who dat? Tiff, I'm going to let you take it away <laughs> and jump into Tasty Tuesday. Have fun, you guys. Awesome. Well, I'm super excited to be on. Um, and thank you so much with Alex. And for all the kids at home, we always talk about what your light system looks like. So those are going to be your foods that are your green lights, your fruits and vegetables, your yellow lights, which are going to be your pastas, your rices, and your grains that you eat sometimes. Um, and your red light foods, we never forget those. And we always have a good habit of asking all of our athletes, so Alex, it's coming, um, what your red light foods are. So the snack foods that you eat sometimes, but not often. Um, and how important those green lights and those yellow lights are for your body, but also your mind. Um, Alex, as an athlete um, also, it is super important to make sure that your body is fueled, but also that your mind is fueled. So that way you can focus and, you know, do things like catch that awesome interception that you did in that B-roll that you just showed us. Um, and just making sure that you guys are making healthy choices um, while you're at home. I'm super, super, super excited to see what Alex is making in the kitchen. Um, he gave us a great idea to make covered bananas. So let's pan to Alex's kitchen and see what he's covering his bananas with today. All right, awesome. I'm gonna have my wife, Lindsay, help videotape this. So- Oh yeah. Here. Awesome. Something. Okay, so we have, we have our banana here. Uh -huh. We have our chocolate that we're gonna, that we're gonna cover the bananas with. We're gonna melt here in a second and some almonds and you can use a substitute if you have any allergies or anything like that some people use granola or rice krispies or anything like that so it's going to be really good and really tasty i love it i love it and one thing um that's super important and you actually said this before is just making sure you're washing your hands before you start any of your food prep in the kitchen yeah for <laughs> sure especially especially right now uh you know i just wash my hands but it's really important to either use hand sanitizer or wash your hands for 20 seconds and, uh, you know, obviously during this time. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, Lindsay, we definitely appreciate having you in the kitchen also. And you can just get to, to go and let's kind of see how you're going to prep your chocolate covered bananas. All right. And well, I know. Well, yeah. Go ahead. 
Oh no, go for it. First, we're going <laughs> to melt the chocolate here in the, in the microwave. Obviously you don't want to do it all at once. You're probably going to want a, a parent or anyone in your home to help you, help you out doing this just because we're dealing with hot food and we're going to do it a little at a time just to make sure the, the chocolate melts evenly. So after a couple seconds, let's see it melt. Just oh. enough for it to be able to cover the banana. And we have Sherry who says she doesn't have bananas, but would strawberries work? Yeah, really anything. Anything will work. Um, you know, obviously we're putting putting the, the fruit in the freezer, so you'll have to do something that you'll like frozen. But, you know, any, any fruit that you, you'd like doing that. So we're going to peel the banana here. And what I'm going to do is cut it up into thirds so the popsicle can hold on to it pretty well. We're going to stick the popsicle in the banana <laughs> far enough to hold it pretty sturdy. And we'll go through the first one. We're going to roll it in the chocolate. And you can put as little or as much chocolate on it as you want. Because we do need to have those some of those red light fruit foods like you said before. We're going to roll it on the almonds. That's one of my favorite nuts. And then we're going to put it on the wax paper. And I'm going to do the other two. And we're going to put it in the freezer. Nice. Well, as you're prepping the other two, um, one of the questions just kind of came through of like, what were some snacks that you liked as a kid? Yeah, I was think I, I've always thought about that question of what my mom make me or what my dad make me as a as growing up, and what was one of my go to snacks. And I, the one that I still do to this day, and mm -hmm. my wife can attest, is that we always do celery, peanut butter, and honey. So you just cut up a little celery celery stalk and put some peanut butter on it and a little honey, and it's a perfect way to get some energy in and. Get a good food source in peanut butter, and like I said, there's a there are a ton of peanut butter substitutes out there. So um, that's definitely one snack that growing up I loved. <laughs> well, Charlotte at home says yum to what you're making, and probably maybe even the peanut butter and um, honey and celery that you named. I know we had one recipe called ants on the log that used those very exact things. And then they threw in some chocolate chips to make their ants. So it's cool to see that um, you as a kid liked some of the, the similar things. So what do you got going now? For sure. Now I'm going to put it in the freezer and we're going to let the chocolate harden a little bit and you can keep it in there as long as you want. You can keep it in there, you know, 24 hours or you can keep it in there 30 minutes to, you know, let it harden and kind of, you know, the, the chocolate cup dipped chocolate dipped ice cream, let it harden so you can uh, munch on it and, you know, still have a great snack. Yeah. So speaking of you being a kid, um, if you think about the holidays, like what was your favorite holiday or even your favorite holiday food? Um, I would say I think a lot of kids, kids favorite holiday is Christmas. And that was that was definitely mine growing up um, on Christmas Eve. We actually have a special Italian family tradition and that's the seven fishes. It's a meal of seven fishes and you know I like it's pretty self-explanatory. It's seven different types of fishes that my mom usually makes in some sort of pasta sauce and puts it over uh, some sort of pasta and uh, you know it's just one of those those meals I always look forward to every single year. Oh that sounds awesome. I mean I would be down for seven dishes. That sounds super <laughs> cool. I, I have yet to experience that but um, we have <laughs> Um, Ashley at home saying that um, Riley loves the Saints and bananas. So this is a win-win for him today. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Tiff, I think we missed a couple shout outs this morning too. So I want to say good morning to Dylan and also to McKenna. Good morning, you guys. Thanks for joining us today. So speaking of the light system and kind of the green light foods, the yellow light foods, what are some of your favorite green light foods, like fruits and vegetables? What do you love? Um, I'd say for, for, as far as fruits goes, I love bananas, mangoes, pineapple, watermelon. Um, I'm a big fruit guy. I like apples too. That's a really easy snack that I can, you know, put some added calories on there if, I, if need be uh, with peanut butter or anything like that. Also veggies. I love, um, you know, in the morning, I add some spinach to my to my eggs uh, to get some a veggie serving in the morning. And 
uh, throughout the day, I just always make sure I have good enough portions of veggies on my on my plate. Ooh, I wonder what kids at home do things like that, like add spinach to their eggs and all those cool veggies and fruits that you named. Um, I am also a mango fan. I love them. Um, so thank you for that. Um, what is your favorite like post workout done with the training session um, snack? Yeah, um, the first thing I really do is get my protein in. So, uh, you know, to help with recovery and help build up your muscles, I think first thing I do is grab a protein shake. And obviously there are a ton of different types, but, uh, you know, one that I was advised on taking, taking. And then another way, another snack that I have is applesauce. It's a good way uh, mm -hmm. to help recovery as well as you uh, work out. And, um, you know, it's one of my favorite things to eat. Well, Charlotte at home says that she loves mangoes also. <laughs> Riley said that he loves cauliflower and carrots. Um, I like cauliflower also and carrots. Yeah, Those are very thing. great. Very, very, very great. Um, we also got, wow. Cindy said she loves guava and passion fruit. Um, have you ever eaten a passion fruit? No, <laughs> Alex? I've, been around, I've been around some, but I've never tried. You have, have they're delicious. Oh, oh I've yeah. never tried Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> Cindy, I'm with you. So good. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm all about trying new things. I know, Alex, are you about trying new things? Maybe passion fruit could be something we try one day. Yeah, for sure. You always have to <laughs> try new things, and you know, you never know what you're going to like. The taste buds are always growing. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, well, you mentioned Lindsay earlier. That was your, your wife and your camera person. So, how is it different kind of leading a healthy lifestyle with your family now? Like who's the cook in the house to make sure that like you guys are getting in those things that are, that are involved in the light system, those green lights, those yellow lights, and maybe even some tasty red lights. Yeah. Obviously right now it's really tough. Um, you know, with the quarantine and the pandemic going on, we had to cook in for a ton of meals. And I I'd say we're pretty 50, 50 split as far as who cooks and um, you know, all that type of stuff. So I think, I do a lot of cooking, but she also does as well. So we're pretty split and, um, you know, we just try to be consistent in our meals and uh, develop a routine, especially, like I said, a, a crazy time like right now. Yeah. And Griffin has a question for you at home. He's saying, do you like pickles? Ooh. <laughs> Actually, the, and I'm weird. I'm weird about this. <laughs> are probably like my top my top dislike of food. <gasps> oh. I know. I know. And Sorry, I'm Griffin. Everywhere. Pickles are everywhere, and I just can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, well, Griffin, I like pickles, so. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, Griffin. I like I like pickles also, so it's. My it's wife fun. Lindsay loves pickles. Ugh. All right. <laughs> well, they're not a fan favorite for Alex, but that's quite <laughs> all right. Um, I hear that you like animals and you're really passionate about animals. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about that? And like, do you have any pets at home? Yeah, so I, I do. I have a dog, Sammy, and uh, he's a rescue dog. I got him in the shelter about five years ago. Um, yeah, I'm really passionate about you know, helping the, the dogs out and cats in the shelter that don't have homes and are uh, trying to get homes or that need fostering in different types of homes. So, um, yeah, that's definitely what I've been involved in the past three or four years of my career and that I'm definitely looking forward to doing more in, um, you know, in New Orleans and around the country. That is so cool. Um, I can't have an animal or I would have one, but Emily, you have a little doggy at home too, don't you? I do. I have a nice dog for sure. Alex, Tiffany's in the Olympic Training Center right now, and that's not a thing, but maybe Tiff one day when you get out of the training <laughs> right. center. I hope. I hope. Um, I wonder how many kids at home have pets or dogs or anything. I wonder how many are from rescues. That's It's really awesome what you do, Alex, um, being able to just bring an animal um, in your home and love it. That's super cool. And that's something really that you're passionate is. about outside of, you know, football. For sure. For sure. <laughs> we have a couple people who are with you, Alex. Um, it seems like most people don't like pickles, which was surprising to me because I love them. <laughs> Charlotte does not like pickles. Ashley does not like pickles. 
Oh They're my great gosh. for you, though. They're great for you. <laughs> I think they are. And the pickle juice for hydration, I hear that's good for you as well. So, and we, oh. you know, at Classroom Champions, we do love meeting everybody's pets. Cindy has a dog and a cat. And I'm sure we have tons of viewers out there who have animals as well. So, Alex, thanks for all the work that you're doing in the animal community as well. So, at Classroom Champions, we love playing games and we have not played categories this week yet. I mean, it is Tuesday. It's a, you know, there's a lot of week ahead of us, but we love playing categories. It's one of our favorite games. So, um, Tiff, you want to take it away on the categories game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, before we get to our categories, though, I have one question. And oh. this is, I know, this is kind of my own personal question. And I think it'll be fun for the kids at home. Um, just kind of talking to Alex and, and looking at all the awesome things that Alex does. You, constantly get reference to Thor, Alex. Mm. So my question for you would be, if you could pick a superpower to have, what would it be? Ooh, that is a good question. question. <laughs> oh, I would say the ability to fly. That would be my mm. number one thing. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Me too. As a freestyle skier, being able to fly would be amazing. So I, <laughs> that would have helped my career a lot, big time. I'm with you. I'm with you, Alex. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. And you can go all different places around the world with that superpower. So thanks for, for answering free. that. For but free. For, for free. free. I like that totally. even better. <laughs> yeah. So back to categories <laughs> since I threw us off. Um, I think all right. First category. Let's oh, go for it. Let's uh, get to a couple of these comments before we before we jump into the game. So, um, <laughs> McKenna, hi to your dog Stella, um, and Griffin wants to know Alex if you have any tips for him to convince his mom to let them get a dog. So, if you have any tips for Griffin, let him know. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. It, it depends on your situation, but you know, I think that. I know. I think we might get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might get in trouble on that one, Griffin. But we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find your mom and have a conversation with her. Uh, we got a couple. We have a couple pickle lovers. Um, Ashley has a dog, a cat, and a hermit crab. And uh, let's see. Oh, we got we got Cindy. So I think that's all our comments for right now. So let's dive into categories because you know how much we like a good game. So, Alex, categories. We are going, I'm going to ask you and Tiffany to start, but we are going to ask everyone at home to type into the comments a sport. Let's see, a sport that starts with the letter A for Alex. Sound good? All right, a sport that starts with A. And uh, Tiff and Alex, I want you guys to play as well. What's a sport that starts with A? Tiff, you go first. <laughs> oh, way to dish it to me. I was like, oh. <laughs> Um, I have one. Archery. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad we were the same wavelength, Emily. <laughs> yeah, yep. Alex, yep. what do you yeah. got? Basketball. A? Basketball? Letter oh, A? Continue the A. Yeah. A, A. That's, oh, yep. God. I should have explained categories a little better. Alex is new uh, to Classroom Champions Live in categories. Mm. A, A. All right. So Martina mm -hmm. joined us with archery while Alex is thinking. What do you got? What else do you have? Mm. We have Ashley with acrobatics. Oh my God. Oh, ask, listen, oh. learn. Thanks guys. Aerial skiing. I put freestyle cause it's easier to understand, but really I'm an aerialist. Aerial skiing. Thank you. Ask, listen, learn our partners yeah. at ask, listen, learn. What do you got, Alex? Uh, Anything? No. <laughs> Pro gymnast, gymnastics. That's a good one. A, a is kind of hard. A, a is, is hard. hard. A is hard. <laughs> Alpine skiing. All right, let's, let's switch. Alex, you're going to go first with T for Tiffany. T for Tiffany. What do you got for T? Tennis. Tennis. Nice. All right. Um, T. T. Ooh, that's good. Um, <laughs> track and field. Oh. Good one. <laughs> track and field. Track and field. We missed McKenna had acro gymnastics or acro gymnastics. Wow. Acro gymnastics for uh, A. And alpine skiing, Charlotte had an A as well. What else for T, you guys? Cindy joined Tiff with track and field. What else? Anyone else have another T? <laughs> oh, Triathlon. Martina. Martina has a good one. Triple jump. That's our uh, Christian, Christian Taylor, one of our mentors, does triple jump. You guys are smart. 
my God. <laughs> they are smart. Triathlon from Dylan. All right. Anything else? Oh, wow. Grace. Tetherball. I haven't played tetherball since elementary school, but it was the highlight of being a child. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Tripping from Charlotte. Thanks, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, Dylan with tree climbing. I had a tree climbing club when I was a kid. I loved wow. tree climbing. I love. I liked climbing just about anything. <laughs> and we have another tether ball. Real good. Now, I want to just go back a little bit real quick, Alex. We had a question that we didn't get to. I'm trying to find it. Tiff, do you remember the question we didn't get to? I do. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> there it is. Alex, it. what is your favorite movie from Sydney? Cindy. Ooh. I don't know. That's probably a real. Uh, I'll go. Okay, I'll go with my favorite Disney movie because that's what I've been into recently. I just downloaded Disney Plus, and that's why I'm doing this. Game. I'd say my favorite Disney movie because movies too vague for me. I'd say I go with Coco. I go. Oh, with oh man. <laughs> Good movie. Oh. That's a great movie. All right. And oh. what I know also is that we have some Gators fans and we also have some Saints fans at home. So I know Martina is a Gator fan. Hi, Martina. She's one of our classroom champions teachers. Yep. And um, Lori is also, Lori's a huge Saints fan. So um, we just want to make sure that we express to her, she's wondering how your shoulder is feeling. And uh, she was really worried about you when you were hurt. So how's your shoulder? It's all good. I'm fully cleared, ready to go. So as soon as we get back to it, I'll be, I'll be ready. Awesome. All right. Well, I think that is all the questions we have time for. Unless Tiff, do you have one more? Hmm. Last question. Let's, Last let's question. let it be a good one. You know what? Let's just, Alex, is there anything that you would want to say to the kids who are out there watching? Um, uh, I'd say the, one thing I'd want to say is just continue to do it, keep doing what you're doing, stay involved as much as you can in your community, be good for your family, because this is obviously a really, really tough time for a lot of people. And just know that I'm thinking about you guys. And, um, you know, I really hope, you know, we're pretty soon we're going to go back to normal and, um, you know, just do our daily lives. So uh, just finish out, finish out everything strong and keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. Perfect message okay. to the kids at home. Okay. We never leave you guys without a challenge. So we are going to wrap with our challenge, create Alex's snack this week with your parents and send it to us so that we can see and celebrate with you. Teachers, have your students do it. Parents, do it with your kids. Um, you can share it with us using hashtag classroom champions and we love a good shout out. So we will do our best to, um, to show this next time. The downloadable is in the chat box, but it's also right here at classroomchampions.org. Um, hashtag blog, hashtag free recipe saints, Alex Anzalone. So Alex, we are so happy to have you here with us today. Thank you so much to everybody who was at home watching. And uh, Lori, I agree. Finish strong. All right, Alex, <laughs> thanks, for having, th thanks for being yeah. here with us. Tomorrow, you guys, we have um, Tara Sloan with us and she is going to do something really cool. She's going to do some mindfulness and meditation with the kids at home. So we're going to slow it down a little bit and we are going to have Tara Sloan with us tomorrow. So Alex, thank you. Thank you. And we will see you soon. Thanks everyone. Thanks for having me. Thank you.